The, uh, solar sun jars today, the uh, actual circuits. Here's a completed version that I've encased in uh, resin. You might have seen that in my previous videos for it. And we're going to build 20 today for sale on uh, Tindy.com. So we have our circuit boards came on in from, and they give us a nice little label now OSH Park. We have all of our little solar cells that we have to set up. We've got all of our little tiny components of course LEDs and this is an upgrade from originally my old version had a 350 farad supercapacitor. I found a supplier with help from uh, Kyle Carrington on YouTube found for uh, the same price, 500 ferret capacitors. So, let's see here. And they're nice and blue, versus the green from the 350 ferret capacitors. The only thing we have to do first before we start going around building the circuit boards is, when I ordered the circuit boards, there's only one problem with the boards, the spot where the supercapacitor plugs into it and sits on top, I forgot to enlarge the holes. That was the one thing I forgot to change. So, what we have to do is take a standard style supercapacitor and just file down the connectors just a little bit so they will fit in the current holes. And when I do my next version of this in my second, uh, my second batch, I will change the hole size so it's a little bit bigger and it will fit in perfectly fine. So, as you can tell, this is just a regular stock board, haven't done anything to it. I cannot plug them in because they are too wide. This one I've already filed down a little bit and if I line it up correctly snaps right in there. So we're gonna grab Dremel and zoom in a little bit and do a quick time lapse. I'm just gonna file all these connectors down a little bit. It doesn't weaken them enough to the point where you're gonna have a problem with the unit and this way they slide right in. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to get ready to uh, do all the soldering. We're going to do one component at a time and we'll do it to all the boards here. And once we get all that done, we'll fix it on top of the supercapacitors and then we'll take care of the uh, solar cells and get them wired up and connected into the uh, solar panels. Okay, let's get started with this. Okay, so now we're going to clean the boards, get all the uh, extra resin and flux off of it. As you see right now, they're uh, pretty dingy looking. So, 
gonna use some 91% rubbing alcohol and clean them up. Soft toothbrush. Okay, they're dried up now, and as you can see, they're much better looking. And this way the extra flux doesn't accidentally short out some of the components and blow it. So now, take them off the board, get rid of that, and let's break the boards apart and clean them up. So this way you have a perfect little board. Okay, now we're ready to put the circuit boards onto the uh, supercapacitors. And there we go. Now we can solder the supercapacitors onto the circuit boards. Okay, now that we have them all assembled and all set up, the only thing we still now have to do is take care of the solar cells. And we gotta get the wire ready, and we're going to use Cat5 cable, because that's why I've always used, and I've never had a problem with it. As you can see, the two wires coming off. And these solar cells are putting out a maximum of maybe like 80 or 100 milliamps, which is wire can handle perfectly fine. So let's get the wire all prepped up, and we'll solder up the wire to the uh, solar cells, and then we will connect them up to the uh, circuit itself. Okay, now that I finally got 80 wires stripped down, that was mildly tedious, um, let's get the solar panels, or solar cells, wired up. Now you'll notice on the back of each panel, the manufacturer has put a negative sign, so you know which side is negative and positive. So, I'm going to lay out a bunch of these. And now we got all the solar panels on here. So 
I'm going to take them outside in a few minutes and let them charge up for a few hours. So that's why we can get up to at least the 0.9 volts to turn them on and make sure they all work before I start packaging them. And here they are getting a few hours worth of sun so I can test them for you. Because I don't want to send out any bad units. So we'll let them sit for a few hours and get enough of a charge to turn on. Take them back inside and see how they light up. Hey there. Now they've uh, all charged for pretty much six, eight hours or so and good to show you that they all work now. Yes, I'm in the bathroom because guess what? It becomes the darkest room. So, great way to test them real quick. So, let me turn the camera around. Okay, and now we'll kill the light. You can see them all working. And just to show that they actually work, I'll use a flashlight to turn each individual one off here. So, see that one's out? Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And there you go.